Now we'll take a look at an application problem involving the distance equals rate times time formula. Superman needs to save Lois from the clutches of Lex Luthor. After flying 11 seconds, he is 1,539 meters from her. Then at 14 seconds, he is 1,386 meters from her. We want to know what is Superman's average rate, how far does Superman fly every five seconds, and how close to Lois is Superman after 19 seconds. Let's start with a sketch of the situation. So here's Superman and he's flying down toward Lois being chased by Lex Luthor. We're told that after 11 seconds, Superman is 1,539 meters from Lois. Let's go ahead and assume after 11 seconds, Superman is in this position here. And since he is 1,539 meters from her, we can go ahead and label this black segment here 1,539 meters. Then we're told that at 14 seconds, he is 1,386 meters from her. So let's go ahead and assume at 14 seconds, Superman is in this position here. So the time would be 14 seconds. And because he's 1,386 meters from her at this point, we can label this shorter black segment 1,386. So to use the formula distance equals rate times time, we need to determine how much time has passed from 11 seconds to 14 seconds, and also the distance Superman has traveled over this time period, which would be the distance from where he started here to the time at 14 seconds. So time t would be the amount of time that's passed from 11 seconds to 14 seconds, which would be 14 minus 11 seconds, or 3 seconds. Again, from 11 seconds to 14 seconds, he's been traveling 3 seconds. And then to find d, the distance traveled over this time, we want to find the length of this green segment, which would be the difference of the long segment here and the short segment, or the difference between 1,539 meters and 1,386 meters, which is 153 meters. So now that we have this information, we should be able to answer the three questions. The first question is, what is Superman's rate? So using the formula distance equals rate times time, so we can substitute 153 for the distance, and three seconds for the time, well r times three would just be three r. And now to solve this equation for r, we would divide both sides by three. 153 divided by three is equal to 51. So we can say r, the rate, is equal to 51, it would be meters per second. Next, we want to know how far does Superman fly every five seconds. Well, again, we can use our distance equals rate times time formula. If we want to know how far he flies every five seconds, we want to solve this equation for d, when the rate we know is 51 meters per second, and the time would be five for every five seconds. Well, 51 times five is equal to 255. Therefore, every five seconds, Superman travels 255 meters. Now, for the last question, we want to know how close to Lois is Superman after 19 seconds. This question can be a little tricky, but remember we do know that after 14 seconds, Superman is 1,386 meters from Lois. And since 19 seconds is five seconds after 14 seconds, since 14 plus five would be equal to 19, and from the second question we found that every five seconds, Superman travels 255 meters, he would be 255 meters closer to Lois after 19 seconds. So the distance from Superman to Lois after 19 seconds would be 1,386 meters minus 
255 meters, since he's 255 meters closer after the additional five seconds. Therefore, after 19 seconds, Superman is 1,131 meters from Lois. Okay, so this last question is a little tricky, but if we use the information from the second question, hopefully this makes sense.